Well, we'll get to another fantastic win in a moment, but now that everyone's had the chance to cool down a bit, what does the coach and what does Spencer have to say and think about that flare up at the end there? Uh, yeah, I just saw it. Um, I thought that, yeah, the referee had an opportunity to kind of settle. It was, look, it started from Jared. He was just looking for trouble, you know, like it's, that was obvious. Um, and that's why then, and he found it, so yeah. So Jared had a rough start to the game, obviously, uh, on yeah. the end of a couple of your forwards, and then you think it, he relished the chance to try and give a bit back late, but went a bit too far. Well, there was numerous incidents, weren't there? You know, so and I think the balance of probability is that Jared was probably the one in, in initiating it. So uh, that, that's all that happened. I mean, yeah. Uh, you, were you surprised though at the, the level of Spencer's passion? Have you seen that side of him privately uh, at training behind the uh, scenes? No, I've seen it. I've seen it in games, like. Yeah, I mean, I don't think many front rowers like like what happened. You know, it was, um, I don't know, it was a little condescending. I thought, you know, like they don't, it just was unnecessary. And I don't know, what, I don't even know what else was said. So, but Spence, yeah, he's, yeah, he doesn't like it. I guess that's what he showed. So, uh, I thought he was a little unfortunate. I, I'm not sure why he's putting a bin. But anyway, it's probably a good thing in the end, I suppose. If you talk about the incidents, I'm guessing, did you have an issue with the elbow to Moses Liotta a few minutes earlier? Uh, yeah, if I'm truthful, yeah, I did, yeah. I think it should have been a well, penalty. And I think it was very questionable, yeah. Yeah, the way he looked, um, where he saw him, yeah, the way it was cocked, yeah, I do. Oh, how's Liam? Um, he's fine. Yeah, he's good. Uh, look, uh, what are the rules? I mean, I... Levin sleeps, the gents tell me. So that gets him yeah. free the day of Origin, but he would not obviously be able to train in the lead-up to Origin. Yeah. Well, I assume that he'll... Just looking at him, and you can't you can't make those assumptions until the next couple of days, but I think in two days' time, the first thing he has, he'll have to do is... Um, yeah, he's not showing any symptoms, so I guess we'll know in a couple of days you know, what, what the next... But he's actually in there. He, yeah, yeah. Mate, well, you know, you've obviously um, been in quite a few Origin camps. Can can someone play if they don't train? I think he could. Like it just depends on what the process is. Like I know uh, previous times, like you sort of there's like a return. So you sort of gradually sort of do more and more throughout the week. So <clears throat> I guess eleven days is a long time. So I, I feel like by the end of the week you'd be just about doing everything, but maybe contact. But you'd still be able to be in every part of the session. So. Um, you know, look, I'll feel it. That'll be fine. And just on l last one on Origin, but um, did Spencer play his way into the New South Wales jersey the other night? That was a sort of Origin type performance. He's been good. So look, what he's been bringing to our team, particularly off the bench, like that, he, he understands his role and he's been doing that really well for us. So I don't know how that fits into the New South Wales scheme of things, but all I know he's been doing a wonderful job for us. Ivan, what about the game itself? You would have been extremely pleased with the way you controlled it, pretty much from the outset. Yeah, I thought. Um, I thought the boys were really sharp today. I thought um, even like losing Nathan last week, I think it just it just gave us all another I don't know just just sharpen everyone else up a little bit. Not that they weren't anyway. I think it just gives everyone like when in, you know when Jack Cocker comes in, I just felt that everyone realised that they had, everyone had to step up and yeah. So you're right. Like we thought we started the game really well. Didn't quite get the scoreboard kind of ticking over how. We would have liked, but um, uh, well, going back to Mato, and I mean his um, his line break for Dylan's trial was yeah was I think it was just a result of a lot of pressure and um, and, that, and we started the second half the same way, so we definitely played the sort of style we wanted to, and, and in the end it was yeah I was really happy with the performance. The scoreboard wasn't as lopsided as when you last played them, but in some respects was this just as impress impressive a performance? Um, Yes, a little, yeah, slightly different, um, but yeah, I mean, any time you can beat the Roosters, you know, it's a it's a feather in your cap, whether, you know, obviously a Blue Ribbon Club, and, you know, we feel, you know, yeah, it's, um, it's a great achievement, so um, it's another one today, so we're, we're, yeah, we're stoked with it. What did you make of Devine's performance? He seemed to really relish that chance to step up his chief playmaker tonight. Yeah, I thought Jerome was excellent, yeah, ran the ball, uh, looked threatening, um, Defended well. Um, 
you know, I, I don't think his position ever should have been endowed, to be honest. But you know, I just he just could feel that he needed to play well. So he's always sort of been that. He's always been able to do that too. You know, the bigger the game, Ramy normally he goes well. So. Did you yeah. have any specific chat with him in terms of being the senior playmaker? Because obviously Nathan's normally there, but he performs that role pretty well for Samoa and, and on occasions when Nathan's been out in the past. Do you have to speak to him and say you need to step up into a slightly different play style to what you normally are? No, no. He, he just had to be good at what he does. That's it, that's the chat we had. So I didn't want him to be. I didn't want him to go looking for to do something more than what he normally does. Um, <coughs> but it's nice to see him, you know. Look, get opportunities. The, the way the game started, he actually took a couple opportunities straight away, which that's a good sign for Romy. He, like he, underst he understood for his role on the team that he needed to be um, yeah, doing more of what he does well. Ivan Scott Sorensen, great game tonight. Resigned yesterday. How good is it to have him at the club for another three years? Yeah, I'm really happy. Soro's become. Uh, he's part of it. He's part of our leadership. He's. Uh, He's like a, um, a cultural architect in many ways, or an ambassador, if you like. He's everything we want to be. Like he, that's him. So um, on and off the field, the way he trains, the way he plays. You know, he just he's come to our club. You know, out of nowhere, it was just one of those. It's almost like fate. I don't know. And he's just he's just really good for us, and I think we're good for him. So yeah, really happy with that. He played uh, outstanding today. Sorry, no. The defensive line speed and the physicality and at times the scramble, just outstanding again tonight. Are you defending better this season than in your premiership years? Can you draw a comparison to how you're doing defensively in 2023 compared to the last two? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's obviously been a long stretch of time, so I guess you feel like you want to make sure you're improving every year. Um, obviously, more the, the boys have been in the system for longer now as well, so they're getting more confident and, and comfortable in that as well. So I guess when the more reps you do, the, the better you're going to be at it. So I feel like we're sort of reaping those rewards at the moment. Um, and look, I feel like it's not always perfect, but I just feel like our scramble's really good as well. I thought I showed that again tonight. Um, a couple of really big moments, I thought. Um, there was one at the back end of the first half there, Lindsay Smith. Like, just little moments like that. I feel like they've, they've been good throughout, not just this season, but obviously previous as well. So um, I feel like that's helping us. Obviously, we've, it's been dis uh, discussed about our attack. It's been a little bit clunky at times, but I feel like we've really been on the back of our defence, and that's, that's helped us be in games, um, regardless of whether we've won or lost. So that's always a good thing. Thanks, guys.